powerful new documentary film is making its debut at the Twin Cities Film Fest. Absolutely. It is called Iron Will, Veterans yeah. Battle with PTSD. Shows a look inside the personal struggle of veterans who are dealing with post-traumatic stress from their war experiences. Take a look. Imagine the most emotionally devastating events in your life flashing in front of you like a movie trailer. And I try to imagine those events in control of your mind when they can appear at any given time. Iron Will celebrates its world premiere at the Twin Cities Film Fest this Saturday. Joining us now on Mid Morning, one of the documentary's producer, Minnesota native Tim Vandesteeg, and director Sergio Valenzuela, who's also an Iraqi war veteran. Yes. Thank you both for being in, and thanks for your service thank you, in thank Iraq you. as well. Tim, tell us how you got involved in this project. Well, got involved uh, about three years ago with Sergio and Zach Adams, our partner. We've done filmmaking together and other projects and what have you. And for us, this is a very important project. Sergio will go on and tell you about being a veteran and having PTS. I lost a little brother um, in this world. It wasn't combat, but it was, he's a military guy, and Zach lost friends. So this is our opportunity as filmmakers. What can we do? It can bring awareness, hopefully educate and empower, and in the end, save lives with this film. Sergio, I mean, this has got a, it must have been such a personal experience for you to be able to be a part of a film like this. Do you mind sharing a little bit about oh, your experience? Yeah, it's, it's been an amazing journey. It's been an eye opener for me. One thing that this film forced me to do is open up. That's one thing veterans don't do is we don't open up. Did, don't you, did you feel like you'd opened up before? No. Or was this the first time? No, this is the first time actually yeah. when the producer, uh, actually when Zach had the initial idea, we were editing another film together and uh, I kind of blew the idea off a little bit because I was in a dark place myself, but mm -hmm. I didn't realize it because mm -hmm. we're 10 feet tall and bulletproof. You're just working yeah, through yeah, it. Yeah, we're just working through it. Yeah, okay, we're not supposed to hurt, you know, unless it's on the ground bleeding and you don't complain about it. So, you know, you tend to you hold all those feelings inside and you don't let them out. And there's some guilt for sure when yeah. you have uh, these emotional struggles, but the reality is, like you said, you have uh, brothers or sisters mm -hmm. that were left behind in yeah, war. A lot of it is survivor's guilt. I mean, you have this mentality of, you know, being part of this, you know, tight-knit group of, uh, of guys, and when something happens to them, you feel literally like you lost a piece of yourself. And so it's, mm -hmm. you know, because you're so tight-knit together and your lives literally depend on each other. Tim, one of the people that you have featured in the documentary is uh, from St. Paul, a Vietnam vet veteran, uh, Jerry, is it Mirren? Jer Jerry Myron, yeah. Myron, yeah. Great guy. And what was that like, kind of bringing in another local? Would you say it was mostly people from Minnesota? No, 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 no. Actually, there's a lot of people in Nashville yeah. where uh, yeah. Sergio and Zach are based. I was, I'm a Minnesota guy originally. Go Vikings. Um, <laughs> and, uh, no, but, you know, I know Jerry from another film project, and we were talking, and he shared so many of these personal stories with me at a, at a Caribou, and it was this so moving and, and yeah. powerful and um, and then we w we shot this film in Buffalo and New York we got right we mm -hmm. got some people in Colorado, uh, LA, LA Chicago Nashville all over the country and the thing really what we've taken away with this is that you know we have an accountability to these these veterans to share their stories let them share it and, to, and within this political world it doesn't make a difference if you're Republican or Democrat or independent it's about being a human being mm -hmm. it's about being a human being and being there for these veterans and one thing we did we shared this trailer and within three weeks we had over a million views on this documentary yeah. on Facebook, over 23,000 shares. You know what that means? It means that this is connecting. There's something very important about this film. And we're very, very excited about just doing a world premiere at the Twin Cities Film Fest, two screenings on Saturday night, yeah. and an encore screening on Tuesday. And on you've Tuesday. teamed up with the Global Give Network, oh, yes. Tree, yeah. Global Give that's Network. Our Tell us what that is. Yeah, the par that's our partners. Yeah, that's our partners. Yeah, Wag Tree. And if you go to our website, www.ironwillmovie.com, scroll it down after you see the trailer, you can click it and you learn more about how you can be yeah. involved and help this movement continue because mm -hmm. yeah. it's going to take a lot of us to uh, get rid of this stupid number the 20 number 20 uh, uh, veterans a day commit suicide Numbers it used to be suicide. actually a little bit higher it was yeah. 22 veterans a day now it's down to 20 and the goal is to you know get that number number down to zero to where if you hear about a veteran hurting himself you go, you say, oh wow, that's really rare. Yeah. You know, that that's what we want to get this to. And one of the reasons why we're in Minnesota and why why do the world premiere here is that the festival actually has this cause component, which is mm -hmm. military military issues, and this is like the top issue. I mean, yeah, this yeah. you've got to be there for these people, these heroes. Mm -hmm. And you guys have, have absolutely done that with this film. I'm Thank sure you. it's going to be incredible when all, it premieres. All of the information at yeah. wcco.com/links. Thank you guys so Thank much. much. We appreciate it.